so my stuff from AliExpress came today and I have my paintbrushes and other things. So I'm gonna show you what I got from AliExpress. So I got these from three different sellers. So I got some of these, this Paul Rubens like art tape. Basically, <laughs> I think it's basically the same as masking tape. Now I'm hoping, it feels quite sticky, but I'm hoping it doesn't like rip art paper so easily. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. I mean, you can certainly get cheaper masking tape than this. I mean, this was a few pounds. It wasn't like super expensive, but I managed to get some masking tape for 50p from Hobbycraft. And yeah, I'm not sure if this is going to be better or the same. But I mostly ordered it because I think if I ordered over a certain amount, I got free 15 day delivery. So I was like, oh, you said a few pounds. I'll just stick this in. So I'll let you know if it's good. Um, that's if, you know, you ever want to use it to border, you know, um, you stick it so that you can have like a clean edge or a border, which you might want to do in your colouring books as well. But um, like I said, if it's really sticky, it could rip the paper. So <laughs> that would not be good for a colouring book or, you know, a non-colouring book alike. Um, so there's that one. From another seller, I ordered this um, 100% cotton watercolour paper, which I'm not sure if this is cold press or... I'm not sure, because unfortunately the writing's in Chinese, so... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not sure. It's 20 sheets, 300 GSM, and then 132 millimetres by 97 millimetres. Now, admittedly, I did think that I had ordered the bigger sized version of this book. I was expecting it to be about the same size as the extra one that I bought. <laughs> Instead, it's the dinky one, because here's the extra one and this is this one. Um, I had seen that somebody else on YouTube had ordered from AliExpress and also got the small one. So I did, part of me did think, oh, you know, it could be the small one, but I was looking at the pictures that they were showing and the, the, pit, the book they showed in the, the picture was definitely not this size and I looked at they had like a number next to it so I looked at that number and it was the same number as the one that was on Amazon now it might be maybe the one on Amazon is the same size as this and I just didn't realize I don't know if there were measurements and I just failed to look at that or if there were no measurements <laughs> so you know it's okay though I will still use this this can just be like a little dinky one that maybe I'll use for traveling more or if I want to do a teeny tiny picture <laughs> but um yeah <laughs> needs to say if you're ordering art books just be careful of AliExpress to make sure you're actually ordering the size you want um because he also had a black one as well and I don't know if the black one now was the bigger size but who knows maybe they were both the same so we got like a little ribbon going on here um, but yeah, it's got perforated edges in this one. So if you did something nice in here, you could take it out and you could frame it. So yeah, the paper's really nice though. It feels really thick. So I'll definitely have to try this out and see how it compares to the etcher. I feel like the paper feels different. Because um, at the moment, I've done one painting on the etcher book. And if I'm honest, I wasn't loving it. <laughs> Um, however, I'm not adept enough to know the differences between things yet. I feel like I need to have a bit more experience. But so far, I do think this is quite a cute little book. So if you want a cute little little sketchbook, or so not sketchbook, well, you could use it as a sketchbook or, you know, book to do a watercolour painting. painting. Ew, what's this? Is this like a bit of glue or something? Oh, yeah, it looks like I've got a bit of glue. St like... Is that supposed to be there? I don't know if that's supposed to be there. I don't think it is. Ew, ew, what is that? Ew. <laughs> um, so I have some unidentified things here. So I think I'm gonna get some kitchen towel and see if I can take whatever that is off. I think it's probably just some glue, but still that's gross. Ew. <laughs> That wasn't cool. Um, yeah, so that aside, I think it is quite cute. So I'll have to just see what I think. Oh, I see. Oh, so there's a little pouch for you to put stuff in the back, but I was thinking the opening was here. No, the opening's this side. <laughs> I almost like tore that open. That would not have been good. Um, but yeah, 
it does seem like a really cute book. So hopefully if I like it, then I can try and see if I can get the bigger sized one that I want, not the small one. But um, yeah, it feels like a nice quality book, which is apart from that really weird stuff that is on one of my pages. Ew. Ugh. And then the last thing I bought were these three Hemi paint brushes. So um, I got three different sets. Now, I think there might be a yellow set as well, but I got the blue, the green and the pink. I think you can like, because this is a round brush set, I think you can get the round brush set in other colours. So if you, you might want pink handles, you could have a pink one, but I just, I don't know, I want whatever the seller has. So they come in these cute little boxes, <laughs> like stuff in. Um, but yeah, there's like a good, there's five brushes in each one. So it's like a good range. So this is a five. Now I think I have this size already. Let me get my brushes out again. I think I do have that size. In fact, I feel like these are actually different colours. Let me look at it. So I think this is, oh no, this is a six. Okay, so this one's, it looks exactly the same though. Maybe it's just very, I don't know. I'm not going to, I would say that those are the exact same. <laughs> they're the same size to me. I don't feel like they're different. These were white, but because they're white, they kind of stain. So that's the only downside to these brushes because they're white, they will stain. Um... But yeah, the colour's slightly different anyway. Um, so yeah, I have noticed in a few of the sets, like I got this brush again in, in the pink set, but that's okay because, um, you know, these weren't super expensive and I will use them. And, you know, eventually when the brush doesn't work anymore, <laughs> I've got a spare one. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to get a range of different sizes. Now again, I think there's a four here. I think I may have a four in the pink and probably a four in the green. Oh no, that says a five. Okay, so I've got a slightly different one. And then what's, I don't know what it is in this one, I can't see. But um, yes, yeah, so basically I've got a range of flat brushes, filbert brushes, which are these kind. This is like a filbert brush. And then round, which is this one. So I wanted a whole bunch of different sizes. So that's quite cute. I love the packaging as well. They're really sweet. Um, so the seller I got this from on AliExpress very kindly sent me some free stuff so they're very sweet so they sent me this like cute little card and they said that um my name dear Frances, says i would like to express thanks to you for basically buying i mean you know if you want to like pause and read it you can basically they're saying thank you for ordering from their shop um and then they gave me a small gift <laughs> so i got this like little stocking thing that you can make i'm guessing i have the tree one although I do oh yeah look, there's a tree there so i got the tree one which I think I just glued the tree on from the looks of it. I don't know if I got glue with it. I don't think so. Um, I don't know if I'll do this this year just because Christmas is over now. But I might save this and do this as a little Christmas craft for next year. But that was really sweet. But the more the thing that I like the most that they sent me is they sent me a little Kimmy um, palette. So it is a plastic one. At least I think it's plastic. Let's open it up and see. <laughs> Pretty sure it's plastic and not yeah it's definitely plastic but it's really cute so you can obviously put like little bits of the paint in these little holes and then you could have got this bit for a mixing uh mixing thing so i think that's really really awesome so yeah i got this for free <laughs> so definitely come in handy because um my big himmy gua gouache set obviously didn't come with the palette and i do have the palette from the smaller one but i can actually also just use this one so that's quite handy so you know I was very kind of them so um, I'll see if I can uh, find the link to the seller that I had and um, just in case any of you were interested in getting these brushes too and now obviously you can get brushes cheap brushes from your own country you don't have to get these ones but I just I used the Himmy ones in my small set and just really like them and I wanted a good set that I could use with my gouache because I can't use the same, I mean, I could use the same brushes for my watercolor as I do the gouache, but realistically it's better to have separate brushes for both the paints. And as gouache is a bit thicker, it's harder to clean them. And also the brushes just will probably get more ruined quicker. So I'd rather have a bunch of cheaper ones that are good than spend loads of money on more expensive ones. So yeah, I'm really excited about these. Um, they look really cool. So I'll, thought I'd share those with you but like I said you can buy these on Amazon but they are a bit more money so it was definitely cheaper to get them on AliExpress and actually these came I thought I ordered it on about the 14th of December so I was thinking I'd probably get it by the 30th with a 15 day 
a delivery. I actually got it, uh, today's the 28th, so however many days that is, <laughs> I don't know. But I got just under 15 days, so that's not bad. And I think Royal Mail actually delivered it to me, so it may have come sooner had there not been a strike, possibly. <laughs> I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm just really pleased I got them and I really love the packaging, they're so cute. I think I'm probably going to keep the boxes. I mean, I'll probably get rid of all this stuff, but I think I'll probably keep the boxes that they come in just because I could put little things in here. I don't know what, maybe some of my chew paints or something. I'm not, well, not quite sure, but I'll find some sort of thing to put in here um, and reuse the packaging because why not? Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So finally, <laughs> as the um, last part of this haul video, I finally got my Ganzai Tambi um, paints from Amazon Japan. I've been waiting ages and ages for these to be back in stock ever since I saw them on someone's YouTube ch channel about a month ago. And I still can't, have never seen them on Amazon UK, so I'm not sure if they've ever been for sale on the UK one, but they have been for sale on the Japan one, only they've been out of stock for quite a long time. And the other day, or should I say last week, because um, I check every now and then to see if they have them in stock, and they did. <laughs> they had three left, and I was like, I'm ordering them, because I love the Art Nouveau style, especially uh, the works of um, Alphonse Mucha. And I do have a book, a colouring book with his pictures in so I did think actually these would be really cool to use in that colouring book because I have barely coloured in it so try and colour in it with these paints but anyway the paint range just seemed really interesting to me um I know some of them would be similar to some paints I might have already and I've never actually gotten the Ganzai Tambi paints before so um I just really like the look of this colour selection for this set so I really wanted it <laughs> and it was so much cheaper getting it on Japan than it was if I had gone it in the UK. Um, so I'll explain a bit that in a minute. I'm just going to unbox it or un not unbox it, I suppose. Unpackage it for you with the um, whatever plastic thing is called on it. Oh, there's like a, oh, I see. This is the thing underneath. So this is how it came. Um, obviously it came in a box. Oh, it's got like a little plastic Oh, that's cool. It's got like a plastic cover on it. Oh, I might keep that on there. Um, so obviously here's just some information that comes on the back. It just says traditional Japanese pan watercolors, professional artists and crafters, recognised by its vivid colour and quick dissolution. If it feels needed, many creators in their pursuit of beauty and artwork. Um, and basically that. Oh, here. Water-based pigment paint can be highly opaque when used solely as a gouache, but can also become more transparent. So I have heard that these are supposed to be more kind of like a gouache paint. But I don't think they're, I don't know how well they layer like gouache, like if if you can layer them in ways that gouache allows you to. So I'll have to try them because I, other than the starry nights and I think I've got some other metallic ones of them. I'll just grab them. I've got like, yeah, these pearl colours. I've got this set and their gold set. These are the only Ganzai Tambi paints I actually ever have owned. But I've never owned any of these like sets. Um... And I don't think I'll get the other ones, personally. I do think they're nice, but I just think, because I have my other ones, I don't really need them. But it's just, I like the colour selection in this. Um, and I don't mind that they're opaque, because um, I'm probably going to use them in colouring books. But yeah, so, this 24 set, I think, before you added tax and shipping, was the equivalent to about 14, 15 English pounds. Um... And with shipping, it worked out to be just over £20. So just over £20 for a set 24 from Amazon Japan, I think is pretty good. Considering it's uh, £22 for the set of 12, I believe, on Amazon UK right now. So unfortunately, they didn't have a 24 set of their normal colours for me to see what the price was. But I'd basically be looking at probably paying about 40 40 to 50 pounds probably for this if I bought it in the UK so it really does sometimes pay for you to order things on Amazon Japan I have saved quite a lot of money with other products I've bought that were Japanese products from Japan before but anyway look at these colors so they look beautiful oh so it has got in the box a little swatch of what the colors are so I probably will swatch it in the lid and then yeah it's just one of these like nice green lids 
that they have but it's just very exciting because I have been wanting these for ages and ages so um, I know at the moment they I did look back and they didn't have any more in stock so my advice to you would be to just keep checking like I did because um, they will eventually come up again um, but yeah that, this is basically um, everything <laughs> that um i have got um i am going to swatch these and i'll show you them the swatch as well in a moment okay so i thought i would show you the swatches of all the paints that i got so i think we'll start with the schmenka ones um i might put my light on actually is there is day oh no i think you can see okay i was thinking you wouldn't be able to see so i got the shire set which uh, is here. So I already had Shire Blue, but I've got the other four now. And obviously I have Shire Blue again, but that's fine. So I got those and I really like them. I do, the Shire Grey isn't very exciting, but I really like the other four colours. Unfortunately, because I got the set, I couldn't like not get it. And I do think in regards to the, all of the super granulating watercolour, I don't think I'm going to get all of them. I was thinking I was going to get them all, but that now... When I see swatches, I think I'm just going to get the ones I think I like. Because <laughs> I do feel like there's no point really getting colours that you're not really going to use. So, you know, that's not waste. Um, and then my, my Isro watercolours. Um, so Beverly Rose was a new one. And as you can see, it's got a bit of glitter in it. Queen Aquadrian Carmen, I love this colour. And the Chartreuse Yellow, I really love those two colours. They're very beautiful. And then I've got Icy Lake, which is kind of a granulating one and it's got glitter in it. Um, and Agapanthus Blue, now this is a beautiful colour. I think this is one of my favourite colours of paint. And it is a granulating one as well, which I didn't realise. And then I've got Boreal Blue, which again, I think is granulating, but it's also got a kind of colour shift in it. So it's kind of like... I like a metallic -y colour, but it's kind of like a green, um, so it looks quite nice. And then I have Eternal Summit, which also has a light smattering of Mika in it as well. It's not so shiny, that one. Um, but yeah, I really like those. Um, these two, I think, are uh, two of my faves, but I also like these. So um, I hope I might get a few more of these. I'm just trying to get go for colours that I really like the look of. Um, I don't need to get every single colour because I'm just trying to go for colours that are more kind of unique I suppose um, because I've got basic sets of colours anyway so I'm just trying to go for colours that you don't quite get so I have got my Raymond Schmall ones here so I've got all of the colours um, I really like the Mineral Violet it's very beautiful the Misty Morning is a very nice one I've used that quite a lot Ocean Blue I mean, the turquoise one, again, I didn't need to have, have to get this turquoise because I do have it in a lot of other sets, but I just, I really liked it. And yeah, for some reason, I decided to get the phthalo blue. <laughs> again, I probably didn't need it, but it's a nice blue though. Um, and then obviously I got these four other ones the other day. So I've got Aquarius green, Hooker's green, the tint, and Mars red. Now Mars red is quite opaque. I do think if I water it down, it won't be as opaque, but I was quite surprised at how, how opaque that was. Um, but the tint was quite nice, and that's meant to be a kind of a more opaque one. But if you water it down, actually, it's it's quite nice. So, and I really like the Aquarius Green as well. So I do like the colours I got there. The Cobalt Turquoise, I'm not really as much of a fan of. <laughs> it's okay. I think maybe once I've used it in some pictures, I'll probably like it a bit more. But yeah, it's not like the most amazing one. And then this is the Holbein Artist Gouache Adori set. So this is all the spring colours that you get. So a nice range of colours. I would have liked natural proper pink because this is a pale coral. Because I feel like with cherry blossom, it's not an orangey colour, it's a pinky colour. Um, but I can make my own or I can, you know, get one from one of their regular sets. So I do like the colours and I love that they have Japanese names like translated into English as in like this is the actual Japanese name as well. Um, and then this is the gouache set I got for Christmas the 18 set so I just watched them out here the pink one did not come with it this one um I got separately but I still got it for Christmas just because the pink you get is magenta and probably if I mix it with white it will probably come with quite a nice color and I do realize now that I don't really have a true purple either so I might want to get myself a proper purple I think 
when I am, um, although technically, actually, because I have the Adori set, I think I've got purple in that one, actually, didn't I? Yeah, so I do have, it's not, it's kind of a different -y kind of shade of purple, so I probably want a true, more like violet type colour, because that isn't violet. <laughs> That's not violet, but I'd probably want a proper actual violet colour, so I'll probably get an uh, a spare, not spare one, I'll probably buy one of those, and maybe another brown shade or a grey. I haven't got a grey, so I might buy a grey. And maybe another green, because these are, the apart from the leaf green, these two are very unnatural greens. So I might get uh, some natural green colours as well. Um, obviously, I will hopefully get some of the other Adori sets. So they may have some of the greens I'm looking for in them. Because um, I, again, probably, I mean, with the gouache, because I will mix some of the colours, but I'm not going to mix all of them all the time. I probably will buy convenience colours just because it's easier. Um, but, you know, I probably, I think there's like maybe over 100 colours, so my aim is not to buy all 100 shades. I will definitely just get, you know, a couple of, from each shade, I think, um, all colours that I like. Again, I'm totally fine to buy colours I like, anyway. Um, here are the Rosa Gallery watercolours, so they're very nice. I really like the greens, they're very pretty. This Aureline uh, green or Auraline green, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it. It's quite nice, um, and I like the sap green too. Um, I do want to get some more, but I'm not sure what colours I want, so um, I think I'll have to have a look and see what if they have any unique colours or if I do decide. Because I was thinking, because these aren't super expensive, and I think if I was to go travelling, like abroad, with a pink palette, I, I don't know, part of me is worried that maybe it might get lost or damaged, or I, am for some reason, can't take it on the plane and I have to leave it. I mean, I'll check this before I go, whether you can, you know, I want to take it in my hand luggage, obviously, not in the other one so I was thinking it might be better to get some of these paints because it won't matter too much if they would get lost I'd rather not take the more expensive ones that I have so I'm thinking I might do that um I think I don't think I, oh no I do have I have the Himmy gosh um oh no I do have more <laughs> that was me thinking I only had like a few more um so I've got the Winsor and Newton professional ones here um this cobalt green deep I'm not really loving and I realized I accidentally got the wrong colour because I was meant to get, um, I think it was just called maybe deep green or something. It's similar to this one, but it was different and I realised I picked up the wrong one. So <laughs> I'll have to get that some other time. Um, it's a shame because uh, Jackson's have got a sale currently on Winsor Newton and I did think they might, um, but I thought I only want a few colours and I didn't want to wait and I'm not, you don't save like a huge amount, just like maybe a, a pound or like 60p, depends on which range you get it from. Um, but yeah, anyway, I got the Potter's Pink because that's meant to be obviously like quite a popular colour. And yeah, it looks quite cool. Um, I've never used Potter's Pink, have only recently heard of it as a colour, so um, I'm intrigued as to when I'll use it. But I, I'll have a, maybe have a look at see what paint, sort of paintings people might use it in so I know how and when I might incorporate it in a picture and then here's my Daniel Smith ones and they're all granulating which I did not realize um so I do I mean to be fair they are made up if I've decided to write the pigment numbers down so you can see like they are all made up of different pigments like this one and this one have got three pigments and these two have got two so it kind of does make sense that if it's got more pigments it could end up being a granulating colour. It doesn't necessarily mean it will, but it can be. So um, I love all three, all four of them, sorry. Um, they're beautiful, like Moon Glow is really nice. I really love Luna Blue. I like the Cascade Green and I love the Rose of Ultramarine. I just love them all. <laughs> and they're all unique colours to what I have. I do, I do think the Moon Glow is very similar to the Shadow Violet in the Roman Schmall. So um, it is a little bit different, but they are kind of similar. So, um, you know, that's fine. So hopefully we'll get a few more Daniel Smiths. Again, I'm going to look more for the unique colours that are not in most other sets because I don't really need to get like the basic, you know, reds, yellows, blues, what have you in Daniel Smith because as I said, I've already got basic colours, so I don't need any more. Um, and then here is the Mia Himi gouache um, swatch. And I did swatch it in the order that it's in the, um, that it comes in. Because I thought if I wanted to prefer, it comes with like a little card actually with all the colours and their names. 
um, which I have realised I'd take I'd had to take out because obviously I couldn't put it back in because it would get covered in paint. So I've got it on my desk actually, but I can't really reach it right now. But it's basically, um, I they more or less look how they do swatched out. So I mean, I don't really need to refer to this, but um, if I want to, it's here. But it's quite good to show it so I can see which ones are opaque and which ones aren't. So this rose one's quite translucent. So. Um, I think I might want to try adding a bit of white to it, which will lighten the colour, but it means it'll be more opaque. Um, I could just add like a little bit. Um, and I do love some of the names like Cheese, UK. Um, uh, there's one called Yellow Teeth somewhere. Yeah, Yellow Teeth. <laughs> which is a very strange colour, name for a colour. Um, I don't know, the thing is, it's like, it might be that in the Chinese name it makes sense, but when you translate it to English, it comes out funny. It's like the word for potato in French is pomme de terre. Well, if you literally translate that to English, it's apples of the ground, which is a bit strange, isn't it? Like, why why are you saying apples of the ground? But um, obviously we would use our word for it, which is potatoes. So this is what I'm saying. It might be like they have an actual what the actual Chinese name just happens to literally translate as yellow teeth, but really it's something else. I mean, I don't know for sure, but I'm just saying it could be that kind of situation. Although the cheese one does look kind of like a cheesy colour. Um, in the UK, our cheeses are mostly yellow um, or this kind of colour, like Naples yellow. They're not orange. We don't have orange cheese. <laughs> that was one thing I found weird when I lived in Canada. I was like, why is the cheese orange? <laughs> I was like, it's not supposed to be that colour. Um, so yeah, um, I did find that quite funny when I lived there. But yeah, so this is the swatches of them, of the paints. Um, and I really like them. They've got a really nice colour range, which I think is really nice. Okay, so I have swatched them out. Um, apologies, there's a bit of glare on the plastic of that. Um, but yes, here are the colours. And I really like the colour range. Obviously, it's meant to be more of like a kind of muted palette. So there's not a lot of brights colours in there and um yeah like you've only got like one yellow which is actually quite a nice yellow I would say and then obviously you've got quite a bright orange <laughs> in there so definitely a lot more softer colours um but I really like them I think they're really nice and as I was swatching them and uh, mind you I did also use a bit of water um they did work more as watercolours to me than what gouache is like personally but I, I'm not quite sure, like, obviously I'd have to use a lot less water um, to use them more, as more of a gouache. So I haven't really tried that. So I would say these lean more towards, like, watercolour than gouache, in my personal opinion. But um, as I said, I haven't really, like, played around with them enough yet to really know. Um, but they're a really nice set, and I just think, um, for the price as well, from Amazon Japan, it's pretty good. So... Basically, that's everything <laughs> that I have bought um, myself over the past few months. Um, I know it's quite a lot of things, but I was just very fortunate to get paid, well, get a back payment of some of a pay rise um, in November. So that really helped. And obviously, it being Christmas as well, I got a few things for Christmas and I treated myself to a few things as well. So I probably won't be buying <laughs> as much for... Um, no, well, I'll still buy things, of course, here and there, but I probably won't be buying nearly as much as what I've been buying myself these past few months. So I just thought it made, made more sense to kind of put it all in a video rather than have it scattered and that be like a few, because it could have been like quite easy, like five or six videos with all the different packages I had. And it just kind of made sense to kind of put it together. So I know it's like two parts. But again, I thought it was too long for it to be one part because it was going to be like at least two hours and I thought that's too long for a haul video um so yeah I just thought I would share with you some of the products I was thinking more of the most of this is more for my watercolor and gouache adventure but I will use some of it in my covering books and I think that this set I mean I haven't really used it yet but I know that other people have the other Gansai Tambi sets and I would say that these are probably quite good to use in coloring books and um, they're not like super expensive either so that will sort of like help if you're not looking for to spend a lot of money on some watercolours. Um, I have heard that there are other 
like their normal sort of range of watercolour paint is really nice too. And in fact, um, they have got this new 100 set. It comes in a nice like wooden box or something with like drawers. And I think they have got these colours in there. So I think that is available on most of the Amazons I've seen. So if you can't get this set, but you actually think, hey, you know, I'll have the whole set. <laughs> I do think it's it is a little bit pricey. I think it's like a hundred or something pounds. I mean, I suppose you're getting all of their paints, which is a hundred of them. I think it includes like the metallics and things as well. So if you think, to be honest, if you were to buy all of them anyway, it probably equate to nearly a hundred pounds anyway. So um, that's not too bad, and it comes in like I said, a nice little like drawer thing. But that's only if you know you're thinking that you want a lot of paints, because <laughs> you don't need to have a lot of paints. But of course, you know. We can't help ourselves, we like to have a lot. Um, but yes, so I just thought I would show with you some things that I had bought and hopefully share with you me using them. I have already started using some of them already, which is why I did not want to wait for everything that I'd ordered to come. Because if I had to wait until today to finally use everything, I think I would have cried. So, because <laughs> it would have been too long to wait. I don't know how other people do this. I've seen YouTube videos where people will literally wait between two and six months whilst they're gathering all of their things they're buying to then show people I'm like I could not do that I want to use my things that I buy so I'm enjoying using what I've used so far so I will show you the progress of that or how I use them in my coloring books later on so thank you for watching and hope everybody's having a really good new year and see you soon bye